As the Bougainville crisis came to an end and with reconciliation work ongoing, the national economic backdrop in the 1990s was dismal, with an important revenue source closed for a decade and political interference rife in key state-owned enterprises. The private sector was under immense pressure. The super funds, what should have been well protected, had been infiltrated by corruption. It was in this period that a vote of no confidence was initiated against the sitting Prime Minister Bill Skate. The moves orchestrated behind closed doors for weeks came out in the open in this parliament sitting in 1999. These pictures we are told are going to other parts of the world, to Australia and, would you believe it, to Taiwan as well. They saw at the election of our speaker live yesterday, no doubt they are seeing this these pictures that you are seeing live in Taipei and parts of Taiwan today. Bill Skate, the embattled sitting Prime Minister, the first since independence from the southern region, was beset with enormous political challenges both within his own ranks and externally. And in a public gallery, there is Papua New Guinea's uh, economic, uh, Prime Minister's economic advisor, the one in a white shirt, is Dr. Peruz Himadian Rad. Men, Among his many problems, he had been Kina accused of giving a hefty 7 million Kina consultancy think, contract to his government's sure Iranian the advisor. Man, the, the and only and months before, he returned right from overseas to a country Rich. angered over allegations that some of his ministers had received cash bribes, Peru's the events secretly the recorded on tape and later advisor. published on television. It is a grand coalition. That's what it will probably be, a grand coalition. Inside Parliament, the proceedings caught political analysts by surprise. Party leaders who would not have normally worked together did so. And they chose to vote a first-time MP in a record setting, 90 votes to five. The man who was the alternative candidate to Mekere Murauta, East New Britain Regional MP Francis Koiman Rea, also cast a vote in Sir Mek's favour. Honourable members, the result or the vote on the election of the Prime Minister is Mr. Koimanre votes five. He was visibly happy when the results went against him. Honorable members. Bill Skate walked over and congratulated his fellow Gulf brother and this appointment of Mekere Morauta as Prime Minister started the long road to recovery that was to see enormous changes in the economic and political landscapes. Mekere Murauta attempted to reform other areas of government as well, including land management. It was met with stiff opposition from NGOs and customary landowners. And while his work stood the test of time, the demise of his political party was swift and severe. In the 2002 elections, his party was decimated. Parliament voted Sir Michael Somare as Prime Minister for a third term. Scott Whitey, National MTV News.